He was the man behind Jordan's recent proposed tax hike and austerity measures that led to six days of protests. Now Prime Minister Hani al Muki is out. Over the past week, nightly rallies, the largest in five years, have intensified. Protesters marched by his residence on Sunday, chanting, we are coming. The government must step down. The tax law must be withdrawn. These are our demands. And we don't want the next government to implement the same policies either. Jordanians are furious that his plan, raising employees' taxes by as much as 5%, would squeeze them financially to the brink. The capital Amman is ranked as the Arab world's most expensive city. There's high unemployment and prices of basic goods are rocketing. Jordan's aid-dependent economy has been struggling with the large influx of Syrian refugees arriving in recent years. Added to this, previous financial supporters like the UAE, US and Saudi Arabia have dramatically cut their donations. The Hashemite Kingdom is $37 billion in debt. That's the equivalent for 95% of its gross domestic product. The government secured more than 700 million in credit from the International Monetary Fund three years ago. The loan was intended to help growth and lower public debt. The IMF also imposed tough fiscal conditions, including hikes in general sales tax and ending bread subsidies, a staple of the poor. But opponents warn these measures hurt poor and middle class families. Analysts say there is a general lack of trust now. People are looking for a paradigm shift. They're not looking for changing uh, the faces, like, you know, uh, uh, sacking one prime minister and getting another one. Uh, they're looking for a change in the policies. The policies have uh, been detrimental to the daily lives of the people in, in Jordan, and they're looking for changes in these, in these policies. King Abdullah has named Omar al razaz a former World Bank economist and the previous education minister, to take over as prime minister. But it's not clear if these changes will be enough to calm the unrest. Hannah Hoxter, Al Jazeera.